decided to spend a week looking at this little rock stack. Um, it's a very interesting little thing. There's a, a natural bridge going out to it, just a causeway, but it's got a couple of walls built across it, so it's been defended or protected in some way in the past. Um, and then there are some other little features on it which make us think it might be an early Christian monastic site. Just started, we've surveyed what we can see on the surface and we just started opening a few little trenches. And it looks like there's definitely walls for two buildings. Um, one um, more, the, more like a little room just tucked in between outcrops and the other one's much bigger. Uh, it's aligned east-west um, and then there's another little cell coming off it perhaps possibly. The monks that came here, well, there's records of monks going to live in desert places, and they're all kind of following a trend set by this chap Simon Stylites in Syria, who went and lived on top of a pinnacle to get away from the world and meditate okay. closer to God. So the monks that were coming out to these little rock stacks on the coast of Scotland and Ireland as well, were in theory, they were renouncing the world, they were leaving everything behind, so they probably wouldn't have had much of anything. But if the bigger building, it's a long shot, but it could be a church, a little chapel, because it is lined east-west. So if we're lucky, we would find an altar in it. For a week, and then we'll be back in July again to survey the rest of the township and do some trial trenches in, in some of the buildings there. So this is part of that project, just looking at the, the history of this area. And we, we think this is probably much earlier than the township, but we could be wrong. It could be that people in the township were using this for some, for some purpose, so it could be any date really at the moment.